Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ross Draws, and today I'm drawing Star Wars. Star Wars is the biggest film in the world right now, so I wanted to make a painting for it. This is gonna be an awesome episode because I haven't painted portraits in a while, and I love drawing portraits. Throughout the video, I'm gonna show you some tip techniques and bring you through the process into how I create portraits. So without further ado, let's do it. Ross Draws, Star Wars. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. To prepare for this episode, I collected some reference of Jin. Yeah, I always like to have some visual anchor points up. Just seeing some reference can help guide me through my portrait. This is the sketch I came up with to prepare for this video. Portraits tend to look to the left or right, you know, maybe uh, they see someone nice, someone hot, like, ooh, who's that? Ross, no, I'm playing. Yeah, I'm just gonna put in a really nice mid-tone. Now I am going to color her cloak. Yeah, and luckily her cloak is dark. You know, she works dark clothing, so it's gonna help frame her face. Two big shapes, you know, we have this cloak and then we have her face. And I always like to break it up in threes. Big, medium, small, or sets of threes. Our third element is gonna be our hair. Yeah, we have a set of three. You know, we have the cloak, we have the face, we have the hair. And then from there, we can just really start to really attack and shape. Yeah, I feel like the light's gonna be this way, so I'm gonna shade the cloak accordingly. And I think it's a good time to have a little instant gratification. I mentioned this in a previous tutorial. Let's just please their eyes real quick with nice eyeliner. It's like putting on makeup, you know? You just wanna make it really pretty for eyes to go, ooh, I like this. You know, maybe if we're sad, you know, you just uh, put some eyeliner on. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, our painting so far, and I think it's looking pretty damn solid, you know? I'm gonna just work on this thing, and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back. It's going really smoothly. I changed her eyes to blue. I think Felicity Jones in real life has brown, green, hazel eyes. In film, editors alter the eye color to get a certain effect on camera. And so for this one, I know that my background is blue, you know, it's really cool. And so I kind of want to play the intensity of the eyes here. So we have to think about the face as a three-dimensional object. The skylight is a certain type of light blue, so we're gonna have some ambient light. Just introduce some uh, cool light on the side, like that. And we're also gonna have a little bit right here. This is before, and this is after. Before, after. Yeah, I just uh, put in the accents a little bit, and you can see that it really helps bring out the design. So I'm just gonna keep working on this, and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, so we have this right here, and I just really started to define the face, you know, smooth things out, making it look more realistic. And the background. Yeah, I just wanted a really simple shape, you know, maybe like a planet, and luckily, you know, Star Wars, we have a circle to work with, and I wanted a simple shape to just cut through the whole face like that. This guy has a cool tint with it, you know, and you really want that to affect her. So we are just gonna make it a little cold. Now we have this nice atmosphere that brings the viewer in more. It's time to do our instant gratification highlights. I always love to do it right here. Ooh. And a little right here on the nose, like that. But this is before, and this is after. Before, after. Now, we feel good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's almost done. So I am gonna wrap this up, and I'll check back soon. Yo, Jin! It's color dodge time! Oh man, here we go! Here we go! Oh. The Force Awakens! Raw movie! <laughs> Saber battle! Hey guys, 
guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Yes, it's almost Christmas. And he's still licking me. Yeah, I love doing portraits, so I'm glad I got to do one again for you guys. Yeah, and if you want bonus content and extended video tutorials, this one is all about portraits. It also includes this personal illustration I did of my character, Nima. So if you're interested, come check out my Patreon. And the print winner is... Hubba Bubbles! Yes, congratulations. That's a really cool name, by the way. Hubba Bubble. And if you want a chance to win one of these prints, this episode's question is, what is your favorite condiment to put on food? Yes, it could be barbecue sauce, ketchup. I personally love In-N-Out spread. You know, the Thousand Island. I'm not sure what's really in there, but it's delicious. So let me know in the comment below and I'll choose a lucky subscriber. Also, I just got this Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video and I'm gonna make a sketch. It's almost the end of the year, so there's a few more videos left. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, every day is a color dodge today.